Hi, I'm Karen Galindo, co-editor of the Northwest Explorer, and we're reporting live from the Keeper of the Plains asking fellow locals what their definition of love is. So first of all, what's your name? My name is Deborah. Melissa. And Bob. Starla. Bruce. I'm Heather. I'm Leslie. I'm Raymond. Daniel De La Fay. So how do you know if someone loves you? I would say one good indicator is if they're willing to make time for you or if they're willing to do a little bit of a sacrifice for you. It doesn't have to be big, but something like if you're sick and you guys are supposed to go to the movies, if they stay with you, that's a pretty good indicator. Well, when they show their affection, will they do anything and everything for you? <laughs> I don't know, you just gotta, it's something that you give back and forth to each other and it's just, I don't know, it's just a, you know how you love someone and they love you back? Um, mostly through their actions, how they um, act when you're not there and how they talk about you when you're not there, that thing. I think that's something that you would just be able to feel within, you know? It's not something, it's just, it's something that'll just click and you'll know. You gotta have feelings for each other. Mm. That's a deep question. <laughs> I was not expecting this. I would say if they put uh, your happiness above their own. Yeah, um, that's a good answer. <laughs> Cosign? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, I would um, first want to know what real love is and know the difference between love and lust. And then I would base my decision on that because real love is when someone puts you above them. And lust is when you just want to have sex. That's all you care about. How do you show your love to others? Mm -hmm. That's a very hard question. It's, it's kind of not, but um, I always keep a smile on my face. So, yeah. And I always be nice. And I'm always accepting yes, just like I want to interview me and I say yeah. What's your definition of love? Definition of love? I want to say kindness, loyalty, and res thank you, and respect. Um, I tell people a lot, I guess, that I love them and stuff. I'm not really shy about like hiding that. Yeah. I'd have to second that motion. I, I love my family lots, and I think I tell them that as much as I can throughout the day. Okay, thank you. Give my mama a call every once in a while, make sure she knows, and yeah, it's just hang out with my little brother from Big Brothers Big Sisters, and eat some ice cream together, so all the good stuff. <laughs> Helping out, providing, protecting. <laughs> Making sure everyone's taken care of. You want to talk to? Huh? You want to talk to? <laughs> I tell them how much I appreciate them every chance I get, and I always make sure that I uh, say things about their strengths and just kind of keep their weaknesses to myself. You know, that way all they're getting is love, okay. not criticism. I try to remember the small details like if they say they really loved a book and they wanted it I'll get that for them for Christmas or if they really like a certain food I'll try to make it for them when they come over. We actually met at the Austin City Limits Music Festival in Austin, Texas which yeah. is where, we're, where we live. Yeah, we're we just live there. here for a wedding. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you show your love to others? Hmm. To each other. Um, Acts of service. Yeah, we. Uh, <laughs> I think we know like how to communicate with one another in a way that is uh, meaningful and that um, you know you can show the person that you know you care for them deeply and it's we're all about communication. We're newlyweds, so it's pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we still like each other. <laughs>